All right, it's another lovely Saturday back home from work. Part of the morning's gone. You know, it's a pesky thing, this work thing. You know, it's always, it's always uh, harsh in my butts. Anyways, it's the only way I can afford to do this stuff though, right? I think today the goal is going to be to work on a tailgate and then maybe even get into the thing where I'm going to put my lights. I bought this thing, a big box of lights off somebody off of somewhere. Pretty cheap. I'm going to switch two of them to clear lenses so that I can have backup lights. I think that that's what I'm going to use. You know, I might change my mind, but that's what I'm thinking now. Um, I need to go ahead and weld this piece in, put my tailgate latch in, and then I'm going to build the tailgate. I think that's what I'm going to do. But maybe before I do all that, I'll finish the inner fender on that side. It's kind of lofty goals for the weekend, but that's what I'm aiming for. What are you studying on? Spit it out. The angle thing. The square? Yeah, the square. Oh. The big one. I don't know. The big one. Oh, the great big one. Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to find it. So I found that for her. I'm working on the inner fenders. One of my Makita batteries expired. And, uh, of course, it's dead. The other one's dead. So I guess I'm going to dig out prepare to build the tailgate. That's what I'm going to do. I want to build the tailgate before I start finishing what I'm going to do in the back here. You know, i got to have perspective. Alright, some of you will remember I went to the woods and drug a trailer and the fenders and stuff out. And this, the one trailer had this tailgate on it. This is a 51, I think, or thereabouts. <clears throat> now this is the correct one, 46. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make take these. Hey, my one battery's charged up. You're so smart. Um, now I'm distracted again. I didn't, I didn't even see her. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna take these two ga tailgates and make one. I think what I'm going to do is, this seems to have the best center portion in the Ford script. I'm going to cut this out. And then I'm going to cut the outside ones out of this and narrow them up. Maybe three or four inches or something like that. So that it'll still have this indentations, but the outside ones won't be quite this wide. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think I got enough room to make them all the same. You could take an inch out of here and here and get a little bit. Anyways, I'm going to study on it. I'm going to use these brackets. I got to cut a little notch right in there about where my spot welds are at. Um, and I still got to weld this up. And I still got to finish that, so I was just waiting for my battery to charge. So I'm going to go back to work, and then when I start on the tailgate, I think I'll set up the GoPro. Alright, that's pretty well ready to weld. I tacked that one. I ain't tacked that one. I'll just tack it whenever I fire the welder up. It's done, other than I got to shake the corners a little bit and do a, just a little, and what's that? Um, details. Yeah, details. But now I'm going to move to fixing this corner and welding it in. I'm going to put my uh, plate in place. And that will be the last thing I need to do so I can start fabricating the tailgate. That's my plan. Alright, I welded in the little plate on the back with my nuts. Welded the nuts on. The nuts, you know. I sprayed some uh, weld through primer in the back side. Hit that with a DA, some 80 grit, clean it up. Sprayed some weld through primer there. And now all I gotta do is reattach it utilizing my former holes and weld it in. Trouble is, 
I only got one good battery for my Makita. And both batteries I got from my DeWalt apparently are junk. So if this keeps up, I'm going to have to break out the corded drill. <sighs> the stuff we go through. All right, now I'm ready to work on the tailgate. I've got this corner welded in. I got my little do flashy in. And now it's time to dice and slice and uh, hammer and make it suffice. What? It looks a little weak right here. Are you going to fix that? Well, it's like 90 years old, 80 years old. Of course it's weak. Yeah, but are you going to... I'm going to make a new one. You are? These yeah. are just temporary. I'm using this to help me build... Lock it up. To help me build the tailgate. I'm taking two yellow tailgates and making one. Sweet. At least that's the plan. This is going to be my top round piece here. I already ground one of these so it'll get started. And then, must be FaceTiming with somebody out there. Hmm. And I've cut this part of the tailgate out, which you can see on the time lapse video. So I'm going to keep moving forward and see where it takes me.
probably saw me struggling on the uh, video, but that's how it's supposed to work right there. The top part of my tailgate. You know, everything needs to be tightened up a little bit, kind of wore out, but that's all right. That's all right. No big deal. All right, let's continue with the rest. All right, I got to widen that part. So my idea is, before I lose where the top is, I'm going to cut these out and get those tacked in how I need them. These end pieces, probably just going to have to make new. But, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to turn on the tunes and the GoPro. thinking there's gonna be quite a lot of dicing and slicing on this tailgate but I think I'm going to I've got this equal gap here it's here two inch two inch I'm gonna go ahead and tack that in place I've got it lined up along the bottom there and then I need to cut four inches out of this that's a four inch wide piece of steel that's what that's where I'm gonna scribe it scribe it after I tack weld it and then cut that and then shorten that up and weld it and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and I'll still have to scab on the end the piece here but that'll give me about three inches between the end and the side of the tailgate that's my idea anyway see on the time-lapse video I keep saying that a lot don't I I was gas welding that hammer welded it I have the frame rail under it directly under the weld which makes it convenient it's a little bit of a heat sink but you can weld it and immediately hammer it and you can see there that weld is gonna take very little grinding and it's straightening out these uh, warbled up pieces. All right, what I'm gonna do now is cut the four inches out of this and butt it together. All right, I done gas welded that all the way across. See there, ain't that pretty? It's gotta grind it a little bit on the back side, but what are you gonna do? All right, I'm gonna keep going. I wanna spend all my time welding. I need to get this thing shaped up. I'm getting hungry.
welding. The young man there made him some money putting shelves in the shed, so that's good. He's going Christmas shopping now. So I think I'll weld a while. I'm still hungry. I ain't eat nothing. Well, believe it or not, I'm tired. It's like 6 o'clock. You know, I used to go until 7.38, but I guess... I guess the age is creeping up on me. Anyways, I got this welded back together. That's what the back side of the weld looks like after you hammer weld it. She's still a little uh, poppy and tweaky, but that's all right. I think we'll grind that a little bit. A little hammering and dollying here and there to probably get her right. Next thing I do, got to do is finish the top rail, I guess, or either the bottom. Probably ought to do the bottom while I got the top here to square off of and align correctly and then use the bottom to square the top. Anyways, that's too much for my poor brain to think about because I'm tired. This thing has been silver. I saw some green, red, and light blue. Maybe petty blue faded out. I don't know. This could have been Richard Petty's truck. That's pure speculation, though. Anyways, I'm tired. I'm going to ring the bell, go in the house, get cleaned up. People complain when I forget to do that. So, And don't forget to go to MrHeavyChevy.com where you can buy um, some cool apparel. And it'll make you look better, younger, and a better welder. So, you got that going for you. Another thought is, you know, I got that little shear over there, which is real handy, but it's only 24 inch. And I really, I got a four foot, I think it is, stomp shear. And a slip roll. Pack stole. Out in the, out in the storage area. But I ain't got room for it in here. But it sure would be handy about now. Maybe if Mrs. Heavy Chevy don't hurry up on her she shed, I'll appropriate it and make it a he shed and put that stuff out there. You know, it'll be convenient outside the door. But we'll see what happens here. All right, I know when to shut up.